Frustration is growing on the Blackfeet Reservation as residents continue to struggle with snow and winds. MTN's Margaret DeMarco spoke with the incident command organizer to find out more on the relief effort. We've had a severe winter, one that one that we're going to be talking about for quite some time. On January 4th, the Blackfeet Nation declared a state of emergency due to severe winter weather. Relentless snow wind have been pounding the front range for more than two weeks. We've been managing off of the original emergency declaration. Incident Commander Robert DeRoger says they are working with both state and federal officials to bring in much needed help. I think we've got uh, seven extra snow blowers in the community and we have extra road graders. We have uh, two extra front end loaders and uh, I think three to four extra snow plows. Crews and equipment have come in from Great Falls, Haver, Kalispell and many other locations. Though DeRozier says every time they get ahead with plowing, it is undone due to the relentless winds. We still have uh, roads closed from Canada to Shoto or the Fairfield area, so they've got to plow their way in. They are also facing issues like Hart Butte residents being without water for almost 24 hours. DeRozier says they have two to four search and rescue teams traveling across the reservation. Providing food baskets and firewood and we're filling the medication prescriptions as we can, and we're delivering those with track machines. DeRozier says they are trying to stay ahead of the situation as much as possible. Try to stay off the roads. Don't drive around road close signs. And if you're in an area where you can check on your neighbor, make sure you check on your neighbor. Margaret DeMarco, NTN News, Great Falls. Many from across the state are lending a helping hand from Kalispell to Missoula, Butte, and even right here in Great Falls. But getting donations isn't the biggest concern. It's getting the donations to those stranded. People have to understand that we are working on it to get them on, to get things in, and it's just going to have to take time, and I will get there when I can. I will. Albertsons on 10th Avenue South and Walmart on Smelter donated water. A food truck from the tribe made its way to Great Falls early this morning. It will be back in town tonight. Plans on when and how the water will be delivered are not yet set. Blackfeet Food Distribution and Food Pantry Program Director Roy Crawford Jr. tells us people are stepping up to help their neighbors. In a time of need, people come together. And that's what the Blackfeet do is, is we're coming together to help each other. And sometimes that need extends beyond our borders. And, and sometimes we have to settle our pride and ask for help. And that's what I've been doing. Now, if you'd like to donate, you can find the address to do so on our website. Crawford adds that all monetary donations go through the finance department.